How's it going on this fine day out in the YouTube world? Welcome back for another Q&A. I finally got around to doing this video on a hot topic and that is what is the difference between a degree in computer science and computer engineering? And that's the big topic for today because it's, it's a really confusing um, topic. Determining between the two when you're trying to decide on a degree is like very confusing. If you go out and Google it and start reading around, it's depending on who you read it from, it's just like very overwhelming, confusing. And if you go to a school and talk to a counselor or someone like that, they may they may confuse you even more. So the best thing to do is to go talk to someone that's actually in that job that you may know um, and seek them out and just kind of ask them around or ask them a little bit. But what I'm going to do for you is I broke it down as fine as I could and really easy to understand so that you have a better idea of what you're looking for when you're, you're considering that kind of degree because we're talking about a four-year bachelor's degree here at minimum uh, and it's very expensive, so I, you don't want to waste your time if it's not something that's going to benefit you and that you're going to hate eventually. So, as always, don't just take my advice. This is my experience from my knowledge and, 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 and research from being in the field for so long. Make sure you do your due diligence, of course, and seek out other um, expertise. But let me give you my quick and dirty uh, uh, distinction between the two to give you a better idea of what route to go and, um, and that's it. So we're going to start on the computer engineering side, you'll understand why in a second. So computer engineers, all right, what do these folks do and what do they study? What they study, and by the way, I got down right here, lots of math in both cases, okay? So if you suck at math, you're gonna have a really difficult time in these, in these, in these um, curriculums in school because there's a lot of mathematics. I couldn't do it, I suck at math, I hate math. Anyways, what these folks are doing, okay, they are actually designing the physical hardware that goes in, the comp in different electronic devices. Okay, and that can be anything from a laptop to a, a big server to cell phones, you know, um, calculators, anything that has, you know, an electrical component inside is what these folks are designing. Okay, they're actually creating and designing the circuit boards, the chips that go on there, the processors everything that makes that thing tick is what these folks are designing okay so they are hardware based uh, designers now some of it, it does involve a little bit of software but mostly what they're doing is hardware so the physical components so if I were to take this this phone and break it break open the back I would see all the different components and the electrical components that are running this guy and so that's what these folks are doing. Now you'll notice I've got electrical engineering down here and that's because a lot of people will, will have a minor in electrical engineering just because the two go hand in hand, all right? So, and, and that's because there's circuit boards and chips, you're actually dealing with the electrical components themselves and putting all that together. So that's where the electrical part of it comes in. Now, on the flip side here, your computer science degree, right? The people that are working in this area, what they're doing is they're creating the actual software that makes the hardware run. Okay? So on one side you've got hardware, on the other side you've got software. These are the developers. The, 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 the common job descriptions or the job roles, the job names, whatever the titles, whatever you want to call them, are going to have some sort of developer in that name. Okay, so it could be a software application developer, it could be a, a software systems developer, it could be a database developer, it could be a computer programmer, 
So anything that has to do with programming or developing, that's the folks that have computer science degrees because they are the ones that are getting dirty and banging on the keyboard creating the software that makes this stuff run and it integrates the two of them. Okay, so for a computer to run, okay, so for a laptop, say, you, you know, it's running Microsoft Windows on it, okay, you've got the folks that are actually developing the Windows software and then you've got the folks that, that actually created the motherboard and the processor and the memory inside the laptop and so those the, 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 the folks designing the Windows operating system have to make it work with the, with the hardware itself, okay? So that's what they're doing. They're doing a lot of that computation and, you know, programming, writing code and all that kind of stuff. So it's, um, it's, it's some pretty intense stuff. I mean, essentially you're a scientist on either side here because of the, the sheer work involved. I mean, it's really deep, deep stuff. I mean, I admire the folks that can do this kind of work because it's just, it's just that, it's, it's really, it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of smarts to, to do this kind of stuff. So, um, that is my simple definition and breakdown of the two degrees there. And then you can decide on which route you want to go. Again, you've got hardware over here and you've got software over here. Um, now, say that you go and you, you get a degree in one of these and you decide, you know what, I don't really want to do this kind of work. I want to do something else in IT. So I want to be a, uh, I want to be a network administrator or I want to be a systems administrator or you know, I just want to go and work on databases. <clears throat> That's great, okay? And having these degrees on your resume will help with that, okay? Because when an employer sees a computer science degree or computer engineering, they know what you have gone through to get that. They know that you're committed to learning and the knowledge that you have gained by getting a degree in such um, areas. So it's, it, it'll be advantageous. It won't be a waste uh, at all. But... Uh, Make sure that, like, like any other degree, that uh, it's something that you want to pursue because degrees, of course, are very, very expensive, as you know. So anyways, hope that helps you out. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions on it. And um, thanks to everyone that keep coming back and watching the videos. If this is your first time here, I want to welcome you. Make sure you check around some of the other videos. I put out at least once a, once a week a new video. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And if you haven't clicked the link in the description box, I want you to do that right now as well and uh, get a copy of my resource guide. So hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope this helps you. We'll talk to you on the next Q&A. See ya.